Korean. These are some Dinar Guru updates, starting off with Militia Man article quote, Alpha Port funding is enough for September and a government step to overcome the budget and delay. The mention of the difference in exchange rates is very interesting. The budget is in dinars, but the contract is in dollars. The large difference in amounts after changing the exchange rate between each other is by recalculating costs. So they have a new system place to account for the differences. If there are any delays, then they are all set with the new system to take over. The new system, when the exchange rate changes, will calculate the differences in the exchange rates. Sounds like they have it set up for a seamless change over. All good to go, in my opinion. All right, Pimpy says, I know you guys are waiting for the big payday, and I told you, in my opinion, I thought it was going to get there, but just not overnight. It doesn't mean I'm right, doesn't mean I'm wrong. I'm just saying you're going to see it go up in increments. How much? I don't know. But Satter is pretty serious about dealing with this exchange rate issue. All right, we have Mark Z via PDK. This article has a lot of folks concerned. Quote, the federal court postpones the lawsuit to raise the price of the dollar to 4-4. This has me feeling very good right now. I am told not by Iraqi sources, but by sources here in the U.S., that this is when they expect to be done. I am being told that they expect that we have finished redemptions before then. Keep in mind that it may take three weeks to a month to get us all in and done. So they have to start this uh, quickly if they're going to meet that timeline. So I am hearing that they plan on having overwhelming majority of us in and out so that they can release the international rate by or before April 4th. All right, uh, Bob Locke says, when contacts are extremely quiet, big things are happening. Things are definitely moving. All right, Militiaman is saying their efforts are about to be given to the citizens proportionately. The pressure has been mounting, and I bet the GOI is feeling the heat on many fronts. Let's see how they handle the new GOI. Will it be seated in the coming days? We shall see. All right, God Lover says the articles speaking of the exchange rate appear to be talking of the previous rate. It's a concern because the oil and gas law is an ongoing issue that I feel needs resolved prior to what we all seek. I'm not sure where we stand on the investment law. I'm pretty sure this still needs to be resolved. Per articles, the NSCNs need to be printed if this is the case, which I think is likely, then that will be another lengthy process. All right, Mark Z via PDK, article quote from Iraq, the, fe- the federal court postpones the lawsuit to raise the price of the dollar until 4-4. Sorry about that, my dog was barking. All right, so until 4-4. I am being told uh, by my sources that this was postponed on purpose because they expect the RV to have been completed, small denomination bills released, and everything done by April 4th thus negating the need for it. This is what I'm hearing. I'm feeling pretty confident we will have to we have been, we'll have been to the bank and be done before April 4th. All right, Claire, this is in response to God Lover's uh, post. NSCNs are already printed and waiting, like everything else, to be revealed at the proper time. Uh, Guru Walking Stick told us that the training was all finished, period. There's a lot that goes on behind the scenes that we are not privy to. Not one of us, in my opinion. Right, Pimpy, a community comment, quote, the RV is a hoax, unquote. Uh, Pimpy says, here's the thing. When people say the RV is a hoax, the comment itself doesn't make sense. You have to explain why it is that you think it's a hoax, because the RV is not a hoax. We actually saw an RV take place in December of 2020. They RV'd the dinar. They went ahead and depreciated it. So you can't say the RV is a hoax. The RV happens. All right, and lastly, Mark Z via PDK. There's a question. I wonder how much Iraq is losing daily with a weak dinar and high oil. Answer is, I have not done the math, but believe it is hundreds of millions of dollars they are losing daily by the dinar being so weak. They desperately need this to change.